Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing your July 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. This is for everyone with their ascendance on or moon in the lovely Aries. Um, and I'm back again using my regular Shadowscapes deck um, by Stephanie Puymoon Law. And I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to have time to do the sex and relationships videos for everyone. But, so stay tuned for that, but I'll let you know, I'll post it on my channel uh, when I'm about to post those. And then, um, <clears throat> I am still doing private readings, so if you'd like a private reading, feel free to email me, elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And um, I appreciate all your messages and Google Plusing, everything, I read everything. I don't get back to everyone uh, with regards to messages, in fact, I do very little messaging on, you know, all the message messages posted in the boards and stuff, but um, I do read them all. So um, I do get back to everyone via email. Um, people sending thank you notes um, a little bit slower at, usually it takes me a week or two to get back for thank you notes, but if you're trying to get scheduled, I am really quick about, really, I try to be quick about it, um, to get, to get you in, so, um, let me know, and, and my wait time recently hasn't been as bad as it was for, um, the month of May, so, um, definitely reach out to me if it's something that you want to do. These are general readings, so it's always good to have a private one-on-one -on -one session, and I try to keep my sessions really fun and light, and, um, I laugh a lot with my clients, so it's, it's, you know, it's good to do. It's always good to do. Um, so let me lay out this spread for you, Aries. Love the Aries people. So it's kind of a mixed bag. It's kind of so so. Um, I am going to go right into one of the cards, what's coming in from the outside um, for you. You know, I always talk about it, what the universe is sending you. Uh, they're sending you the moon card. And the moon card um, is, you can see it's a girl who's lost in the middle of a mushroom field. She's kind of gone down the, the, wrong, the wrong path, okay, and kind of gotten herself lost. Um... And this is also, this is also deception, okay? This is also somebody not being real with you. Um, you know, dealing with, with lies, dealing with, um, drugs, dealing with, um, you know, usually it's going down the wrong path as far as career. Usually Aries, Aries gets really confused when it comes to career, um, and I feel like for you, it's the same thing. You're kind of confused about what to do for your career. And usually the two things I recommend for this card is ask for help and switch directions. She needs to take two steps in any direction to get out of that fairy ring. And the sooner she does it, the better, because then she'll no longer be trapped in that circle of confusion. She'll be out and she'll have the perspective necessary to make a better choice. So in a way, it needs to be like a stepping stone uh, that you think about your career as. Instead of you looking for the biggest, you know, job in the universe, you take one step in, 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 the, in a better direction or in a direction and, um it will significantly help you. And I usually say ask for help from people who are in the industry that you want to be in. You know, if they're, say you wanted to work for a doctor, you know, you wanted to be in the medical field, but you have no medical experience. This is where you call up, you know, you call a bunch of doctor's offices and say, hey, I'd like to go to coffee with the doctor uh, just to kind of get an idea of what, you know, this field is all about. This is something I'm interested in. Do they have time? Are they be interested? And you may call like a ton of people and nobody's interested, but there may be one or two that would be. Um, and usually I recommend talking to, especially if you're going back to school, um, you know, an academic advisor or career counselor or somebody who's kind of able to give you some nuts and bolts of, okay, this is what you got to do and this is how you got to do it and these are the proper steps to take. So um, that's what I usually recommend with this card. And, you know, 
I'm also getting, you need to ask people around you. If you're looking for a job, those of you who are unemployed or, you know, you're just trying to figure out what you want to do, you need to ask friends and family for connections. Ask people for the leg up. Network, okay? Ask people, you know, if they know anybody in the industry that you want to be in or if they know anybody doing, you know, such and such a thing, and they might, okay? And then they can help. Um, you know, send everybody an email or just call everybody one on one and be like, look, I'm looking for a job. Let me know if you hear anything. Um, I think if you ask people what you need and really tell them, okay, this is what I need and you say it in a nice way, I think people will step up to the plate. I know that, um, you know, when I was looking for a job back in the day, um, you know, I had several friends that I said, listen, you know, I just need you to keep to look to see if there's anything that that you think I would like um, in these categories because this is what I my experience is and uh, and they actually really were very helpful. Um, it's not like you're asking them to help you find the job, but I mean, if they happen to hear about something or they happen to see a sign in a window or if they happen to you know talk to somebody else who there may be a connection there, um, then that's what you need to do. So, so you can't, don't be alone is what I'm kind of trying to say. Don't kind of go it alone. And don't hide behind the computer screen. You know, get out there. Show your face. You know, doll up. Aries always feel better when they look good. So if you need to start working out, if you start need to get a makeover or you need to buy some new mascara, whatever it is that's going to make you feel like confident enough to go out and find the job, then... That's what you need to do. Um, that's kind of how I see it. So, um, so we have that card. We also have <clears throat> um, the King of Swords right next to it. So I really think that you know God is really looking out for you. Um, this is also a deceased loved one, usually a male, can sometimes be a female figure around you in spirit that is looking out for you. Um, some of you, it's your dad. You know, some of you who are older, it's your dad. Um, some of you, it's your grandpa. Um, I'm getting both the maternal or paternal side. I feel like the first thing that came to me was maternal. So some of you, it's on the maternal side. Um... So he's there. In the position of your emotions, now I'm kind of just bopping around in the different placements because it's this is kind of a hodgepodge and I'm trying to put it together here for you. Um, it's, it's kind of not, not really the co best, most cohesive spread that I've seen. So we're just going to go through it. Um, in the position of emotions, you have the money, the big money card, okay? And I'm not sure why you're thinking... I mean, well, Aries, Aries do love money, but there may be something to do with inheritance here, or there may be something to do with thinking about um, inheritance here, or there may be something to do with, um, you know, like a big project or just, you know, something where there's a lot of money involved. Some of you are, I oh, just got investment bankers. If you're an investment banker, message me, okay? Um, some of you are... I just got independently wealthy, okay, uh, where you don't really have to work. And this is probably why you're getting the moon card, because you have the money. You don't may not have to work, or there may not be that pressure. You're not starving, so you're kind of just like, well, what do I do with my life? How do I do it? You may also be in a position where you're either married and there is, um, you know, financial stability, you know, and it's... Here's the thing, though. I generally don't recommend it to be... I don't think of it as being the best card to be in the position of emotions. Because what should be there is like the joy card or like a card that talks about emotions. This is a card really predominantly about money. And so money cannot buy you happiness. Money cannot make you happy, okay? Um, even though some people would beg to differ, it, it really can't. Um, some people, they they love money, but it's interesting. <clears throat> the problem with loving money is not actually loving money because the vibration of loving money is actually very positive. 
it's, it's the next step past that love of money. It's the next thing, okay? So it quickly turns from going from loving money to needing money to greed, okay? Basically to that greed point. And greed is a low vibration. Greed, greed is, is not good. So, so uh, you're in danger, Aries, of being quite, and I hate to say this because Aries don't, they get very sensitive about things, about being greedy, okay? About needing money, about um, money being the thing that makes you happy. Um, <clears throat> some of you are going to come into some money via a settlement as well. Um, some of you have like a lawsuit going on. You have a, the outcome is a settlement um, card, but this outcome card is also, um, the six of pentacles is also being in a relationship that's, you're being supported by somebody else. Okay. So to me, I feel like your marriage, um, in through your marriage, that's how you have the money. Basically you're married and he or she is supporting you. Probably most likely it's a he. Okay. Whether you're gay or straight, you know, it could be a guy, guy, guy situation. Uh, where there's financial support there. So you're, you're financially, you're good, Aries. It, it seems to be you're good. It can also be um, resentment and, you know, t sometimes it's child support issues. Um, you know, for child, for the Six of Pentacles to be the outcome, it's not the best outcome for July. It, 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 although, because it's tying in with this Ten of Pentacles, I feel like for the most, most of you, Money is not an issue, but it is going to become an issue because you're going to be stepping past the line at some point. It happens usually very quickly where it's not enough, you know? People get into that mode of it's, it's not enough, it's never enough. You can never have enough money, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and, and so... I don't like how the moon and the magician are next to each other. That and because the moon is a is, is a girl wearing a mask, and the magician is a guy wearing a mask. Is the Joker okay? Is the 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 um the mime almost okay? So it's you know your relationship. There's a strong element of finance there, but it's not. Um, an honest relationship. I'm just going to go ahead and say that. If you're in a relationship, okay? If you have a partner who is providing for you and, and that's what's going on, it's not an honest relationship. You're lying. They're lying. It's not real. It's not like real love, okay? It's not because you love each other. It's just because it's financially stable. Um, and that's why you're in it. It's, it's not, it's not really healthy. Um, and I would advise you to be very cautious about this type of relationship because it's only leading you down <laughs> the wrong road. The moon card is the wrong road to go down. It's leading you down this path, which does not lead to good things. It leads to confusion and lies and betrayal. Um... Now, your saving grace for this reading is <clears throat> the Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is, you know, you've got your fire back, Aries. You're on fire! Like, you know, nobody's business here. The universe is saying, go, go, go. Get out of the house. Go have fun. Be alive, you know. Don't hold back. <clears throat> and I should have gone to the Jason Aldean, Kenny Chesney concert <laughs> today. <laughs> That's what the universe is saying. You should have gone, Elizabeth. You should have gone to the Kenny Chesney, Jason Aldean concert in Seattle. Why didn't you go? <laughs> they make they make me feel guilty for working. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, well, because I'm always working. That's why. <laughs> I should have gone. I should have gone. Anyways, there's no there's no mistakes in life. There's just setbacks. It's just gonna take me a while to go to another concert. Um. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, you know, some of you are muse, very musical. Some of you have, um, musical gifts and talents. Some of you sing, some of you play instruments. 
Um, if anybody has any information about how to play the guitar, you know, please let me know. Because I, I want to learn how to play the guitar. Not acoustic guitar, but electric guitar. I always kind of wanted to join a band, but anyways, this is neither here nor there. Some of you may need to, some of you have musical ability and some of you may need to join a band, okay? So, um, it may be also the reason why you're a little bit confused. You may have like artistic, creative, musical talents and it may be that, you know, you don't really quite fit into corporate America or you don't really fit into, you know, like a regular job. You know, um, and maybe you've been looking for what it is that you're supposed to be doing, supposed to be doing for a long time, and you just really haven't found it yet. So you might just fall into odd jobs, or you might fall into a job here or there, but it's never really satisfying, okay? Um, in relationships, I feel like relationships are distracting you, because you have the Five of Pentacles as the foundation, which I don't like, okay? Um, and the Five of Pentacles is Miss Lonely Hearts. Okay, Miss Lonely Hearts is, you know, wondering when is she ever going to find love, you know, feeling like nobody loves her, feeling like, you know, she's the only woman in the world that's single, you know, she's the only woman out there that doesn't have, you know, a partner or doesn't have a family or doesn't have, you know, that connection. Um, and there's some mild depression going on. Actually, for some of you, some of you are like, it's, 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 it goes from being, some of you kind of are mildly depressed and then some of you are like really depressed. Um, I would say the majority of you are suffering from some sort of depression, whether it's mild, medium, or hot. Okay. <laughs> um, just kidding. So, so, um, you know, you got the deep funk, which is the moon card and you got the medium funk, which is the five of pentacles. And then you have the five of, um, cups here. You have several fives, you know, uh, cards here. Uh, the five of pentacles is that card that's about all about how much longer should I have to wait for a life to begin? How much longer do I have to wait for a man or a woman to show up to my life to have sex again or to have a relationship or to, you know what I mean? How much longer do I need to wait to get a job? Um, you know, because how much longer is it going to be before I figure out what I'm going to do with my life? Um, all those things, and it's, it's this feeling of being emotionally overwhelmed. So in the in the center of everything, you've got this Five of Cups, which is clouded by the Five of Pentacles, okay? And the numbers 555 five, five, or 55 are not my favorite numbers because they indicate significant change, like abrupt change, a change that you're not expecting or change that is kind of major, okay? It's major, it's abrupt, it's, it's unexpected, um, the last time, you know, I saw those fives on the clock, I was like, oh no, no, no. And I got a new roommate and, um, it was, it wasn't, wasn't good. And then I saw it again and I got another roommate. So it's just like, it's things that you may not want to go through. Um, it's not always bad, but it usually indicates significant change. Um, and the last, the roommate that I have now was really awesome. So I'm really happy about that. So. Anyways, where was I going with this? Oh, yes. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, which is crossing the star card. So you're, so some of you are actually musical stars. You're going to be a music star. Okay, some of you. Um, and some of you, you may just don't know it yet. Um, or some of you just have the star quality. Um, Aries, especially Aries women. Um, Aries guys have it, but I feel like Aries women especially. And you have two fee very strong female cards. You have the star and then you have the page of wands. And they're beautiful women. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous, you know? So it's sort of like, you know, you have the star here and then you have this page, which is, to me, a rock star, a musician, uh, a dancing queen. Dancing queen. Is there a song called The Dancing Queen? Da, 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 da. Right? I think I got it. All right. Uh, tell me who sings that song, please. Cause I, it's like stuck in my head. Um, so, um, so yeah, so it's like the star card ex is expanding this page of one. That's sort of like the universe is saying, go, go here, do this. It's like shining. It's very positive. 
what your what the universe is um, sending you as far as the moon is a challenge. Okay, it's a challenge for you because in a way. It's saying to you, if you're not doing these things, you're kind of wandering down the wrong the wrong path and you're going to a place where you're doing things that aren't um, aren't really where you're supposed to be. Now, not everybody that's watching this video is going to be a musician, okay? Not everybody is. But um, at the very least, some of you just need to get out of the house. And I don't care what you do. Uh, if you need to go sit on a park bench somewhere or if you need to go to the mall, or if you need to go sit at Starbucks, you need to get out of the house. Go, go, go. Okay? Uh, I feel like you have your fire back, um, but it's almost like you have your fire back, but then you lose it. Some of you are definitely bipolar. Okay? Some of you have strong highs and lows. To me, it's like at when you're at home and at night, you're lonely, you're depressed, you're crying, you're upset. When you're out in public, you may be the life of the party. You know, you may be the person that goes out, you know, too much almost, okay? Um, but to me, the, the stars are really shining on you to go out and have fun and be social. Um, be responsible also when you go out, though, too. Um, some of you may have kids, um... Too. Some of you maybe have like three or four kids. Some of you have a lot of kids. Um, some of you only have two, but I feel like the three and the four, three or four are there. Um, and you may be quite young and actually have all these kids, okay? Um, so you may have to be, you know, responsible for them. Um, uh, but I feel like they are supporting you. I feel like they are, they are really the light in your life. Um, and they really love you. Um... So if you're worried about going out and you feel guilty because of them, don't. Because I feel like they're like 100% supportive of what you're doing, whether you're a musician or not. You know, that's kind of how I see it. Um, I, see, I see a big family. I feel like this is like a big, you have like a big family. Many siblings, um, could even be like eight or nine siblings too. Um, big families. Um... And some of you actually have a connection to the fairies. I know there, there's a lot of fairies in my deck, and for me to say that specifically, um, you know, it's kind of odd, but I feel like some of you have a connection to the fairies. The fairies love your music. So the fairies are there to kind of bless you and help you along, and um, they're really enjoying, they really enjoy it when, when you're playing, you know, your instruments, if you have an instrument. Um, so... Um, it's kind of a hodgepodge here. In the recent past, you have the Eight of Swords, which is an interesting card that's coming up, and it, it's kind of disjointed. I feel like it's kind of hanging off here on its own, and it's not really making much sense with the rest of everything because it's kind of it's negative. Um, it's feeling restricted, restricted, okay? It's feeling like... Um, like it's going to suck no matter what you do. This is also karma, you know, having paid, maybe having to pay some karmic debts. Um, feeling, this may be also be someone who um, may have had a death in the family recently too. This is possible. I'm starting to see this card a little bit differently. There's a lot of different ways that this can go. Um, but this card usually, there's some negative aspects um, to it, which is feeling stuck, which is feeling like you can't move, which is feeling like you can't go, you can't do anything, there's restrictions. And Aries don't like restrictions. Aries are like on fire. They need to be free to go and light the world on fire and share that, that fire with other people. And they need to have a healthy self, self-esteem. Um, they're constantly, I feel like Aries are constantly working on their self-esteem. So, I just feel like I'm getting like I really feel strongly that some of you it was a death in the family. Um, others, it was just paying some karmic debts. This is karma. And others still, there's someone in your family who is sending you negative energy, okay? Um, it usually is, and can be an older female. 
Um, it's reminding me the crone of Cawdor, okay? There was this one episode of Bewitched. And it was, I think, entitled The Crone of Cawdor. I'm not entirely sure. But it was one of my favorite episodes, actually. It was hilarious. So if you get to go back on, I think it's on Hulu or maybe, I think, I think it's, it might be on Amazon or Hulu. I'm pretty sure it's on Hulu that you can watch it. Um, and it's really, really funny. Okay, I don't know why. So it's, it's showing me like this old crone. I think a crone of Cawdor. That's that's like an older woman. Could be like a like a grandmother age. You know what I mean? Seventies, eighties. Uh, I wouldn't say she's old. She could be older than that. Um, but I feel like there's this negativity from this woman um, there, like around you. Um, it could even be your mother. I just feel like it's a, it depends on your, your age. Okay. I just feel like it's a female. I feel like the crone of Cawdor kind of energy and she's very stern and she's very like, um, negative, you know, she's negative. Um, it's not healthy relationship. I don't feel like you have with her or had with her. If she's passed on and she's over on the other side, I feel like some of you, the, this female is somebody who's on the other side. Um, See, it's weird because on the one hand, you have this negative energy. Um, and on the other hand, you have this positive king of swords. So for the majority of you, I feel like it's someone who's still alive and who's sending you negative energy. Um, and then, But you do have a team of people that support you, deceased loved ones and what have you, that are supporting you, that... Um, are trying to bring you a lot of prosperity and abundance, but you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of negative uh, emotions right now. You're going through a lot emotionally. Okay, this is not July would be kind of a tough time emotionally from what I see because you have the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles together. When I see this, the only other card that would make it like a complete waterworks show, we're talking like a uh, water work wa water world land is um the four of cups and you, you're lucky you didn't have that but because if somebody has those all three of those their emotional basket case they're not together emotionally okay um So, yeah, so if you have kids, don't feel guilty about going out because music is necessary in your life and you need to have fun. Um, this Eight of Swords may, you know, have, making you feel, like, restricted in some way or things are sucking. You're damned if you do. You're kind of having a negative attitude about things. But there's this karmic element. There's a karmic element here, um, too, as well. I feel very strong there's a karmic element. So whether anything negative that has happened to you, I feel like it's karma. It's karmic element where you've chosen to experience these things, even though it's hard, okay? Um, and the Six of Pentacles is the outcome card, and I feel like some of you are getting a settlement, but I feel like other people are in a relationship where it's not an equal relationship. There's inequality. There's, um, And it's funny because I feel like you guys get this card like almost every single time I do the reading, but there's inequality and there's resentment. It leads to resentment, okay? So you want to make sure that you and your partner, if you're in a relationship, are having discussion and you're on the same page. Uh, if your partner is providing entirely for you, there may be some resentment there. So make sure that you you try to give back as much as possible because they they definitely um, they definitely I think are hiding some resentment or harboring some resentment. Um, I am gonna pull um, a final card here. And just to see. Okay, so I pulled three. <laughs> um, the final, the final cards are the judgment card, which is a fresh start. The career card, 
which is really, really good because if you're looking for a job, this means you're going to get one, okay? You have to put the work in, you know, to look, obviously, to look for one. And the moving card. And I, they are next to each other. All three, all together, it's very clear, whereas, like, the reading itself feels like, to me, like I said, all discombobulated. There's a lot of shit going on. But the... Cohe this is co very cohesive. This is like starting over. In a way, you need to kind of start over. You need to start over. You need to move and get a new job. Moving and getting a new job are kind of, they usually go hand in hand. Okay, it's like you move, you get a new job, and everything's new. And that's how the universe kind of bundles it together. It's like a package deal. When you move, it's usually something new as far as a job comes your way um, because you're open to it, you know, because your energy is like open to it. Um... Some of you are working too much, um, and you are too focused on the money. Um, some of you are planning to, I mean, I feel like travel is a strong element in July for most everybody, and you included. Some of you are going away, some of you are traveling, and some of you are, you know, looking at property. Um, I think it's just, the summer is a really strong moving time for everyone. Moving, traveling, um, it's a strong time, but... I think, like, and you were included. So, but I think that moving and getting a job kind of go together. So make sure that you're putting your resume out there. If you're looking for work, um, that you're really putting it out there for different places, because I feel like you, you would get something that you may not expect to get, um, someplace that, you know, you may want to live. Actually, you might be really happy there. So, um, so that's, all for now, um, feel free to email me if you'd like a private reading. Again, that email is elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And I appreciate, you know, all your subscribing and Google Plusing and everything. So I, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for that. So I send you big hugs. Big hugs. Big kisses. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.